Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Marcel Grappo, man. Streets are the fat news. And we back with another one. Today, man, I just want to do a quick update. Um, There was a Sun-Times article that came out yesterday concerning, you know, what happened during the FBG Doug O Block 6 murder trial yesterday, which would have been Wednesday. It seems like the lawyers for the six men... Um, after testimony from a FBI special agent, you know, they all got together and they pushed the judge to uh, give a mistrial for, you know, the trial for the O Block 6. It would seem like the FBI special agent, he mistakenly said too much. Um, he alluded to, you know, them only being able to use certain witnesses due to, you know, witness intimidation. And he actually said on the stand that, you know, they had dealt with witness intimidation from this group in the past. Now, we all believe that when he said that, he was speaking about the O-Block faction of the BDs. But because, you know, not all of the O-Block faction of the BDs are on trial, he would take, you know, seemingly actions of other people and attribute it to the six men that are on trial. Those lawyers, you know, they saw that, they heard it right away, and they, you know, immediately petitioned for the judge to uh you know declare a mistrial the jury heard you know the special agent they already heard him basically say that these this group of men have been intimidating witnesses which isn't you know factual um you know could the fbi say hey o block in the past has intimidated witnesses in other cases yes but they can't attribute you know what o block did a year ago or two years ago or three years ago with witnesses to these six men in the trial that they're facing today the judge did instruct the jurors to basically not hear that part squash that don't listen to that you can't use that in your assumption of guilt or innocence um but the judge did not declare a mistrial also in this sometimes article man um we caught a little bit of tidbit of information that you know we may have to look into uh in a later update in a later video but it would seem that one of the witnesses who's an unnamed witness who uh has not yet been outed yet it seems that they may have been in communication with christopher thomas it would seem like the fbi only pulled certain phone records uh, as to not out witnesses attorneys for the six men charged in the rapper fbg doug's brazen killing called for a mistrial wednesday while raising concerns over an fbi agent's testimony about the alleged witness retaliation judge martha Paco rejected the request opting instead to strike the agent's comments from the record and instruct jurors to disregard them the courtroom drama came after FBI Special Agent Kevin Doyle testified that the feds had only sought the cell phone records of three of the suspects because they had concerns about the safety and security of witnesses cooperating with the investigation. During the lengthy arguments, Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Julian explained that authorities did not seek Christopher Thomas's phone records because they didn't want to out the witness. Um, I guess certain phone records, if they were to pull those records and if they were to use those records and evidence, it would basically tell the world uh, who was witnessing or who was testifying or whatever. Now, there is a big difference, man. We want to let y'all know, man, like uh, the innocent, the civilians, man, if they're the witnesses, that's one thing. You know, if it's a person who, you know, also partake in criminal activity, that would be more of a cooperator. Like we said, man, this is just a quick video, quick update about um, Wednesday, which would have been, I believe, like this is week three, uh, you know, of like it's the real week three of the FBG Duck uh, O Block 6 murder trial uh, slash Rico. Um, and it was seen like the FBI may have made a mistake when they misspoke about this specific group's history of tampering with witnesses um i believe the fbi you know they they are saying that they meant the o block faction of the black disciples which would encompass a group larger than those that are currently on trial and that's what the lawyers came out and said hey man you know my client hasn't even been uh, 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 guaranteed to even been part of O-Block. I believe Ralph Turpin and Kenneth Robeson, their lawyers, uh, came out and basically said, hey, our clients have not even been proven to be part of the O-Block group. So to throw them in the group of people who have, you know, a, a history of witness tampering, 
is, you know, that is grounds for a mistrial or that's at least grounds to strike the comments or to strike the whole witness. Sometimes the judge will just strike that whole witness uh, statements down because, you know, they overstepped in, in, with their testimony. So, again, man, hey, it's your boy, Emre Show Grapple, man, Street Certified News, uh, the most reputable source for urban news, man. Shout out uh, the Sun-Times, man. They did a great article on that. Uh, We're going to leave a link in the description. Y'all can check that out. But it would seem like the FBI overstepped. A mistrial was almost granted. And uh, there's a witness who's unnamed who seems to connect uh, Christopher Thomas to the crime through text messages or phone records. And the FBI mistakenly came out and said, hey, you know, we would have pulled this dude's phone records, but it would have basically exposed our witness if we did it. So we just chose not to use it. Um man hey we gonna keep giving y'all updates man y'all stay tuned man we got another doc coming for y'all in a few days man so we've been working on that um it does have to go you know with this whole o block six uh uh fbg duck trial uh we did a little deep dive on some on, on, on really the fbi's theory and how they may have cleared little dirk already again man it's your boy emory Grapple, man street certified news we out